Hey Forsyth, and welcome to The Prowler, where we keep up with the news so you don't have to. Due to weather last week, we didn't get to finish our courtwarming week, but we still had a great night with a win over Buffalo and fun at the dance afterward. Gage Blevins and Emma Berrickman were crowned king and queen. Our girls basketball team is jumping right into games this week. Let's start to Sydney for more on that. The girls basketball team took a win over Hollister on Monday and played Bradleyville on Thursday. Let's throw it to Haley for an interview with a team member. Thanks, guys. I'm here with the sophomore on the girls basketball team, Belle Berkman. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So how has season been going for you guys? It's been going really good. I think the girls enjoy it, and it's just really fun overall. So how do you think the last half of season will go? Um, us girls definitely have a lot more to improve, but I think we can reach those standards. So how do you think the team has improved since the first game? Um, I, we've improved on a lot of things overall, but mostly just like communicating and teamwork. That's good. Thanks. Back to you guys. Sounds like the girls are having a great season. Our OTC held a holiday food drive to help families in need. Let's start to Thomas for news on that. In December, our ROTC collected meals that supported our community for the holidays. Let's throw it to Jimba for more information. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Ty Evans, senior of our ROTC program. Um, so I heard that you guys uh, held a Christmas food drive. What all does that entail? Uh, we just get all of our cadets to help contribute food. We give every cadet a little sheet uh, with what they need to get, and then we collect it all. I think we do 30 meals. Yes, we do 30 meals every time. All the cadets contribute, put it in boxes, Christmas wrap it, all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Um, and how long has ROTC been doing this? For 15, 20 years, for a long time. Wow, wow. Uh, and how has doing this drive really affected you personally being in the program? Me, you know, it's, it just makes you feel a little better, helping the community and all that. That's really it, honestly. <laughs> Got it. Thanks. Uh, back to you guys. That sounds like a great time. This week, Lee and Chase are bringing us a fun new segment. Let's go check it out. This week we're asking people their New Year's resolution. Let's go. What's your New Year's resolution? To not conform to societal expectations of... What word am I trying to use? I don't know. I don't have a New Year's resolution. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Zoe, what's your New Year's resolution? Um, get big. <laughs> yeah. Hi, ladies. Uh, what's your guys' New Year's resolution? One cup of coffee a day. <laughs> Behave you yourself. Help us all. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, guys. What's What's your uh, New Year's resolution? Uh, I don't know. To be a better me. Yeah. That's good. That's good. Sorry. Just asking a question. Hey, Alex, what's your New Year's resolution? Uh, eat more food. Good one. Thank you. <sighs> AJ, what's your New Year's resolution? Um, to finish all my work. Fair. What's your New Year's resolution? <laughs> uh, I didn't make one. You didn't make one? I did not. Do you have any goals? Retire. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you. Mr. Moran, what's your New Year's resolution? Oh, I never make those. Never? You don't have one this year? My New Year's resolution is to be on the Prowler more. There you go. Leah, what's your New Year's resolution? Get taller, eat more beans, and grow. What's yours? Um, probably get more sleep, maybe get shorter. Back to you guys. Wow, that was interesting. Well, Chloe, that's all the time we have for this episode. Remember, Forsyth, stay, stay classy, classy, not trashy. Let's throw the phone. That's my one blooper for the day. And then Why does it say both? Why does it say both?
Could we both say that? Oh, yeah, I forgot.